Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to add or embed a YouTube video in Elementor. Now please bear in mind that I'm using Elementor Pro. So this is what the embedded YouTube video will look like after we add it to this blog post. So I'm logged into my WordPress website. You can add a YouTube video on a page or a blog post in WordPress. And I'm going to add it to one of my blog posts. So I'll hover my mouse over posts and then click on all posts. It'll display all my blog posts here. I'll hover my mouse over this blog post and then click on edit with Elementor. It'll then load the blog post. And this is where I'm going to add my YouTube video. I'll hover my mouse over this section down below and then click this plus button. And then add a new section by clicking this plus button. From these different structures, I'll choose to add the single column section. Now, if you're using the new Flexbox containers, yours may look a bit different, but just choose the single column section. Here is a new section. I'll click in this area, and from this left sidebar, I'll use the search box and then type the word video like so. And this is the video widget we are going to be using. I'll drag and drop it into this new section like so. You'll see a sample placeholder video. Now before we proceed, here is the YouTube video I want to embed. In the address bar, this is the YouTube video URL we'll need. And I'm going to use Control C on my keyboard to copy the URL. So now let's head back to Elementor. In the source field, if I click this drop down, you have several options for YouTube, Vimeo, Dailymotion, VideoPress, as well as self hosted on another platform. I'll stick for the default YouTube option. Next, I'll select this link box. And then I'll paste the YouTube URL that I just copied earlier. And as you can see, it's replaced the sample video with the YouTube video URL that I used. Down below, you have some video settings. In this first section, you can add a start and end time for the video. In this case, I want the full video to play, so I'll leave it as is. In the video options section, you can decide to enable video autoplay, mute the video, or loop the video. I'll leave these as default. The play controls allows you to hide the play progress bar. I'll leave it as the default because I want viewers to have control. Essentially, when a viewer plays a video, they will be able to see these play controls. If not, the play controls will be hidden, as you can see here. Similarly, Modest Branding allows you to hide the YouTube logo from the embedded video. If you turn on Privacy Mode, YouTube won't store information about your visitors on your website unless they play the video. If you enable Lazy Load, it will help load the web page faster. And finally, under Suggested Videos, I prefer using the default setting of current video channel rather than displaying random videos from other channels. Essentially, it will display videos from your channel or the channel where you embedded the video from. So these settings were in the video section. Let me click this section to close it. And I'll click on the image overlay section to open it. If I toggle this button, it allows me to add a custom image by clicking this section, which will then redirect me to the media library. I'll choose this image and then click Select in the bottom right corner. As you can see, it's added the image as a thumbnail, and that looks much better than the original YouTube branding. Down below, you can choose the image resolution. You'll find several options here, as you can see. I'll leave it as a default. This play icon is what you see on the video here. 
If you want to, you can change the play icon by using these options here. Again, I'll leave this as is. The light box option is off, which means the video will play in the same section as you see now. If you enable the light box option, when you play the video, it will appear as a pop up. So I'll leave it off. So all these sections that I covered were under the content tab. Now let's go to the style tab. Here are a couple of sections. In the video section, you can choose the aspect ratio. There are several options here. I'll leave it as the default 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And if you want to, you can add color filters using the CSS filter dropdown. I'm not going to do that. Let me close this video section by clicking here. And then I'll go to the image overlay section. Here you can change the color and size of the play icon. I'll just leave this as default. And in the advanced tab, you'll find several advanced settings for animations and other styling options. I'll be creating an advanced tutorial to cover these advanced settings. Make sure that you click this update button to save the changes, but that's how you embed a YouTube video in Elementor. You can check this blog post to see how the video looks like and then interact with it. And I also added a YouTube video playlist down here. You'll find the link in the description section. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.